These kids came to me pretty scared a few days after their mama was hit by a car. They were little puffballs, and they still have that very fuzzy, fuzzy baby teddy bear coat. They needed a bath because mom hadn't been there to clean them up. The first few days that the foxes were here, they were still pretty nervous. They kind of just stayed in their bed, stuck in a corner to themselves. 90% of their day was probably spent curled up in a giant ball amongst each other. Eventually they adjusted a bit better, needing more space to explore and play. Hey you. They do look sort of like a puppy when they're bouncing around. I would set up a camera secretly so I could watch them while they were totally comfortable without me in the room. And they were a riot. Wow, who tore my bags of shavings apart all over the pillows? Oh, you know what? It was her, Danny. About a week in is when I knew that these guys knew who I was and they knew that I was there to help them. Come on guys, who's hungry? When they hear me crack open some food, they know it's meal time. Supper time. <laughs> They're like, mom, what do you got? We're ready to eat. One time I had one of them just passed out on my lap, completely zonked. That's when I think they recognized me as a foster mom. Look at that little tail wag. Eventually they were ready for their outdoor enclosure. When we first opened up the crates, they were a little hesitant for a minute. Then, within minutes, they were so excited. Weeks later, we were at the point with these foxes where I would walk into their enclosure just to do a quick food and water change, and they would either scatter or squish themselves behind their house because they thought that they were totally out of sight from me. That's when soft release comes into the picture. Seeing them come from these tiny little babies to teenager foxes who are strong and healthy and still fearful of humans, it's just the most rewarding feeling ever. I opened up that door and then you could just see that this excitement and joy of complete freedom, it just hid them. And then they'd take off. Soft releases are very emotional for me, but the best part of a soft release is that we leave the enclosure door open and we provide food, water, and shelter for a few weeks so that we can give them a little bit of an extra helping hand. And then eventually they're off for good and really truly out there in the wild.